Looking for the cheapest coins on the internet right now? Look no further than my sponsor, Mutt Coin Bank, guys. You seriously cannot beat that value. I promise. Use code Poodle for 5% off your order. What's on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to go over what you need to be doing and what you need to do to prepare for the Series 6 update, guys. Now, at this point, guys, Series 6 may be the last Series update we do get. Now, if you're wondering why, if I recall correctly last year, I could be wrong. I think one of the last Series updates we did get was Series 6. But it wasn't even this late. Like what they, I think they made them actually closer. So again, I could be entirely wrong. Like again, considering we've been on this game all year, you know, per game, sometimes you lose track of what may have happened last year. But for the most part, I usually keep a pretty good memory on that. I believe like series six or five was maybe one of the last ones we had last year. But it was even sooner. We had it back in like early March or February, if I'm not, if I'm not mistaken, because they were giving us series updates way sooner than this year. This year they actually had a pretty decent break in between where they gave us a long period of time between. So. Again, they seem like they're going to make this game a little bit longer than last year's game was. So, we may even get a Series 7. But Series 6, typically, I believe, is where we, we end, you know, level 100 and so on. I don't know how much further we'll go beyond that. You know what I mean? Like, we, we're, you know, I don't know if they want to go up to, like, 120, 130, 140. That'd be cool. I mean, that'd be a way to keep the game going just about most of the year. You know, give people some level up grinds to do. Give some people some free rewards. Some no money spent guys or, you know, late bloomers who get the game in spring for, you know, spring GameStop sale. Gives them a chance to build their team at a later time. So that'd be pretty cool. But uh, yeah, before we get into the video, make sure you go down below, hit that subscribe button, turn the noti bell, give this video a big thumbs up as always. And if you haven't already, comment down below. Let me know, guys, how many series and to what level do you think we'll be able to get up to. So for starters, how to prepare, guys. One of the most important things is understand there's going to be a new level of grind. So if you guys don't already know how the level of grind works, it's pretty simple, guys. If you still want to get maximum level and you're still into all that and you still want to you know, get your little the free stuff for a lot of no money spent, you know, no money spent teams is pretty good. Um, Go on over to Mutt Dedication go to mutt level and if you come all the way down guys so currently as it stands you're able to get up to level 90 so the next level of you know series six will essentially be level 100 right now again could they make it 20 levels instead this time which i believe they have done in the past could they do that just to make it a very a very long series possibly and remember so we have gotten multiple power passes right so currently we have the 90 we got a 96 right there Let's see, we got a uh, the 97 at the end. So we potentially could get a 98 to 99, a 98 and 99 the next one, which would be the last series update, right? Uh, now, could they the last series update of maximum power passes, right? They could give us, again, just a repeat of them next time, but that's it. We already got our first one. You're like, it's done. Like, we've gotten it. Now it'll just be a repeat of those rewards. But overall, I love 100. Now, could they do 110? Could they do up to 115? Could they do a series 7 and, you know, go up to one 115 in the second one? They could do all those things. Because technically, you know, wh and when do I expect this to come out, guys? So, if this cal the calendar and schedule followed our typical release of series updates, we would be getting this next series update approximately around, I would say, next Friday. Oh, this upcoming Friday, right? This upcoming Friday. You know, the last Friday of March. No, sorry, actually. It'll be, no. The first Friday of April, I should say, is when we would have gotten it. But again, because we've been getting a lot of promos lately, and these series updates have been off at a few times, they haven't said anything yet. But again, there was a series update not too long ago where they didn't say anything up until about two days before we got it. So, you never really know with them. But I do anticipate a uh, series update in the next two weeks, right? I'd say earliest is this upcoming Friday, and latest is probably the next Friday. So, I'd say give, give or take a 7 to 14 day range is where I, I expect us to get it. And then probably a 1 to 7 day range of when I expect at least to hear about it. Or 1 to 10 days, right? At least if it is the 14th day drop. But overall, guys, I am excited for a series six update guys it's always fun for a few reasons so first off the level up grind if you guys still level up grind all the time you're gonna get a few things right you're gonna get a 98 power pass and potentially a 99 overall power pass which is definitely super important to help build your team Free 99 overall guys that means you can get any card in the game right uh as well as you know not yet there's not a lot of 99s but there will be pretty soon as well as guys as you guys can see you're gonna get 45,000 coins which could you know that could change to even higher if it's the last one you may get a legend fantasy pack or at this point an ultimate legend fantasy pack right so a free Ultimate Legend Fantasy Pack. You'll get some level up challenges for your Andre Johnson. You'll get some stuff for your team captain. Um, maybe two Ultimate Legend Fantasy Packs. You know how that works. Or again, guys, it may not even be that, right? So this is a Fantasy Pack. This one is actually going to be a level 86 pack that just contain Legends. Now, I don't know how they do it with the next one because they're done with Legends. Maybe they'll throw in uh, some random promos. Maybe just some low overall Ultimate Legends. Maybe some full Ultimate Legends. That'd be pretty cool. Some more coins. Again, another Power Pass. Another Ultimate Legend Fantasy Pack. And this is going to be another pack of Legends that you can just get the Platinum Quick Sell right and just Quick Sell them for a good price. So overall, guys, we're going to be getting some pretty good stuff. And that's just from the level ups, right? Then you come on down to like this over here, Mutt Master. I remember Mutt Master Series 5. You do the 25 Team Force Fumbles, 50 Team Force Fumbles, 10 Interceptions, 20 Interceptions. You do all that. You get your, um, 
what's it called your plus one muck collectible and then of course in the next series and you get coins right so you get 150k here 100 30k 30k 30 25k 25k 150k and if there's a series six as well guys they do give you that opportunity you can get another plus one if you didn't do the other ones and as well as you can go ahead and get an 150k coin or even more because remember this this jumped from 30 to 150 so maybe it'll be like 300k for like a final one which would be pretty cool and then of course you know there's all this list stuff as well uh that's already been in the game you can feel free to do that whenever you want but overall so that's what you're gonna get just off of the rip right and that's not including a lot of other factors so Moving beyond that, guys, the next thing that's going to be a factor is it gives you something to do, right? It gives you solos to play. It makes playing online games a little bit more enjoyable because even in a loss, you're getting XP. In a win, you're getting XP. You're building up, you know, your, your XP and everything. Uh, your, your daily quick sell gets a little bit better typically as you do level up. There's some, there's usually some, they usually incentivize getting max mutt level for, you know, daily quick sells. Uh, you know, the two, two packs or one pack, two solo kind of thing, one pack, two games. Um, Moving on from that, guys, the next big thing is going to be the store. Of course, we'll update, guys. Pack odds typically get better, guys. So typically, the market does crash after a series update, and a lot of players in your team will lose a decent amount of value. And honestly, series updates probably just their sketchy way of killing everyone's team so that uh, people can lose a lot of the coin market can die down, and then people are going to have to go ahead and open packs again. Uh, and then, of course, pack odds. It's, 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 it's such a gimmick, right? So your team's worth 2 million coins. Your team's 99 overall. Let's just say 2 million coins. It's not true, but let's just say um or 97 overall so the series update comes out your team drops to only being worth 1.2 1.1 million you lost half your value in your team you're feeling down so what do you do you start selling some players because you want to get some coins back at the end of the day you end up losing more money at more money actually because you end up getting reduction then you're kind of down so you go open some packs right uh, i i need i need a hundred dollar bundle i need i need to open some packs you go open some packs when you open them you get some pretty good stuff like i did that one time because wow the pack odds are super good on redux day when they know people are going to be opening a lot of packs so the, the odds are good so now you get like this adrenaline high from opening packs so you open up another bundle because that was such a good value you should just open up another one because you're not gonna you're never gonna get pulls like that again so you open up a second bundle and there you go now you've just spent 200 dollars. your team's back to 2 million coins which you would have had already uh you know had this crash not happened so now you gave them an extra 200 dollars per person or however much you spend and your team's back to normal and you feel good about yourself right and that's kind of the gimmick with series updates that kind of bother me if you really look at it but uh moving on anyways yes we get some free stuff back from the series stuff you know that's just to make us and that makes us happy for series updates but you, you know the deal there's a rhyme of reasons to everything but coming over to uh competitive over here this is where you know may maybe they'll update one of these things over here maybe they'll throw in finally a really good thing in here like maybe give us an ultimate legend fantasy pack for trophies they gotta start doing cool stuff like that like no one wants this stuff give us some ultimate legend fantasy packs for trophies make they should really start adding packs with a trophy option like it should be money coins trophies that is for like game changer pack 50,000 coins 9,000 points 700 trophies so yeah, something like that to incentivize people to get trophies again which would make them uh, you know level grind and make grinding head to head a lot more enjoyable on top of just actually playing the game and the final thing guys is that there are going to be new redux cards in game now keynote here guys before i say this uh, when Redux cards, you know, new LTDs who get Redux cards, typically their value will drop a ton. Now, there are a few times where the value won't drop, so just keep that in mind. If there's very limited amounts of this card on the block, and um, they're a very, very, like a very car important card that a lot of people want, like they're a great card, they're a stud that everyone's going to want, their value still might remain high. So, an example is Pearl Bull Deshaun Watson, his LTD. He was like 800k, super expensive. People sold him for 800k, thinking that when his Redux came out, he would go, uh, you know, down in price. He ended up staying around the same thing. Now, you're not really going to lose in this situation because, again, you could just resell it again. But, you know, if you have a card that you know is super popular, super meta, maybe don't sell it because, you know, he's going to get a redux. You could hold it. But mo typically with most cards, what's going to happen is, you're, if you let's say Brian Poole. Brian Poole is 377. Now, he's pretty low. So, this isn't the best example. Brian Poole is 377. He's going to get a series redux maybe in the next uh, update. Maybe not, right? Because he just came out. So, remember, if it's a recent LTD, you won't. But just use him as an example. His redux card may go for, like, 305. So essentially, you're going to save like 30k after reduction if you sold him now and wait for his Redux card. Now, a better example, let's just say, right, uh, an LTD that goes for something pretty expensive. Let's find one here. Now, again, it might not even be the, the best price of him, but I'm just going to make up an example for you guys. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, let's just say Darius Slay, right? Darius Slay goes for 700k. You have Darius Slay right now for 700k, but you know he's going to get a Redux, right? So you sell him today or tomorrow or the next day for 700k. After reduction, you end up with 650 when he gets his Redux card, he ends up going on the block for around 450. So you buy him back with the 650 you got, and now you made 200,000k coins in profit, and you still got Darius Slay. So your team stayed the same, but your coin stack went up, right? And that's important. So just keep in mind of when you're when you know when you're selling your cards. When if you have any LTDs in your team, just be careful keeping them on your team through a series Redux. You know the NFL honors, Chase Young, Aaron Donald, all of them will be getting Redux as well. 
guys about it for the video hopefully you guys did enjoy if you aren't to the channel hit that subscribe button turn that on bell give this video a big thumbs up as always and if you haven't already comment down below and let me know what's going on guys thanks so much for watching though if you guys need coins head over to my coin bank down below and use code poodle i'm out Peace.